Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. In a moment, I'm gonna show you something with this. Yes, I know, deja vu. But first, I paid for it, so hey guys, roll the opener. fun. Welcome back from the opener. Speaking of openers, ah, okay. Um, in case you don't remember or you haven't seen it, I did a whole video on this. This is uh, Quebec a maple uh, flavored uh, Coke. And uh, in case you didn't notice, uh, uh, there wasn't like a tsh or tsh or anything uh, like before. And uh, when you pour from the edge, uh, you will see that there is um, no fizz. I just read dozens and dozens of comments. I mean, not one or two, but dozens, dozens of comments that said, hey, apparently uh, Canadian Coke doesn't fizz the same. Uh, it, this, it's the Canadian maple. Whatever it is, it doesn't fizz the same. That, that's all I wanted to show you. Okay, um, this stuff is great. By the way, what I'm going to show you today has to do with this. Uh, this is a brilliant book. It's uh, Chris Kenner's Totally Out of Control, originally published in 1992. This book's almost 20 years old, and it is still filled with absolute gems. If you're a magician, you want to get it. If you if you, if you like uh, uh, fun, practical jokes, this is fun. Uh, Chris designed this bo book in a very special way. Uh, the other side is uh, uh, upside down. In fact, at the, the dead middle of the book, uh, it switches directions. Uh, so you can see uh, this is in, uh, find the second where it looks more apparent, yeah. Uh, this is in one direction, and on this end, it's in the other direction. Uh, so when I'm reading this book, uh, I look like a complete idiot to anybody looking on this side of the book, and uh, vice versa when I'm reading on this side of the book, and I'm reading something and wanting to figure out a really cool move. Uh, I, I, I look good on this side, uh, but look like a complete idiot over here. Isn't this clever? Okay, so that's a book to get. Uh, in the book, uh, there are countless routines. One of my favorites uh, was called Menage a Trois, uh, which has become now known as a Three Fly. Uh, it was inspired by uh, Jonathan Townsend, and Chris Kenner's handling is really cool. Uh, I was inspired by Chris Kenner's work and then discovered uh, Lee Asher. And Lee Asher does a thing called three styling that's really cool. Use poker chips. And there were three different colored poker chips, uh, not three the same like these three poker chips. But these poker chips are kind of cool. When you look, you can see it's got a little number one on it. It's not an extra one. I pulled it from over here. It's got a little number one on it. And, and it's like a dollar poker chip. That way you know it's not like a big expense. It's just a single one. And uh, there's two. I just want to point out, it just jumped from one hand to the other. Yeah. Uh, if I did them with like green poker poker chips, you'd think, well, there's no way in the world somebody has a $25 poker chip and they're keeping it, but with like, or a black chip, that'd be like a hundred. I just want to point out one jumped again. Did you see that? It just jumped across. Uh, there's just uh, the three poker chips. That, that's how the trick works. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I just think that's really cool. Uh, it, it's a trick I put out years ago uh, in a DVD called Matrix Express, uh, which was a, a matrix routine with poker chips. And instead of photograph, instead of uh, playing cards, I used photographs and the photographs are really cool. Because in the end, there was like a little hand on the on the photograph and a poker chip in it, and then the poker chip popped off of it. It was like I photoshopped it in or something. It was very neat. Anyways, um, I just want to share with you a, a book review. Go out and get um, Totally Under Control uh, by Chris Kenner. If you can find one, it, it is uh, really worth reading. In fact, uh, over the next little while, I'll do a few more effects from the book because it's just chock-a-block full of really cool stuff. Is that a word, chock-a-block? Yeah, it is. All right. Thanks for coming. I'm going to let you go. Uh, keep well, keep busy, and uh, hey, if you haven't, uh, smash like, uh, subscribe, hit the notification, uh, share the video, uh, tell your friends, um, um, yeah, all that stuff I'm supposed to say. I don't understand any of it, but, but we're growing, and I really appreciate it. Uh, bye for now. Oh, you stuck around. Thank you so much. I'm not sure I should be doing this format all the time because you guys are starting to figure out, hey, stick around. Sean does the coolest magic trick afterwards. And they do. Uh, this is a uh, Walking Liberty. Uh, they're a very special solid uh, silver coin. Uh, I have three of them. Uh, these are way more expensive than poker chips. Uh, these are actually uh, minted back in the 1940s. In fact, this one is 1942. 
So the war was going on. It was 1942. Uh, uh, times were tough, and yet we still have silver, which is pretty crazy when you think about it, that they were minting coins out of silver when they should have been making bullets to kill werewolves. Okay, um, there are three coins. One, two, three. You can see that. There's three coins. Over here, uh, this is a walking liberty. You can see, oh, he's upside down. Turn her around. There you are. I, I want to point out, I only have two back here. I'm going to open my hands as clean as possible because people say you're hiding things in your hands. Look, there's there's, there's just, just three of them. Uh, one and two. This is important because later you're going to think there's only two over here and only one over here. But then I do that move and I have two over here and one over there. Yeah, I, I know. It's crazy. And the one that goes next, this is the one that's, in, oh, look at that. That's incredible. Okay, it wasn't incredible. I go like that. It goes right back again. Look, you can see up close. I just want you to see. I don't think there's anything I can show any cleaner than this. There's just uh, one coin and two coin, two here and one over here. And I do that action. Then I have all three. One, two, three. That's it. And it was done with coins, solid pieces of silver. One, two, three of them. Thanks for watching. Uh, hit like, uh, smash the like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, hit notifications. And share with a friend. And tell somebody. And uh, call a friend. And um, boy, whatever you do. Uh, thanks for coming. I really do appreciate it. Bye for now. The vice president of Konica asked me if it was possible to use a little bit more of my uh, magic with their product. Now, I was using some of their product in my magic, but it occurred to me I could use photographs, like they were playing cards. And so I got one, two, three, four photographs of my hand. And I could explain to the audience that I was going to cover my hand over top of the coins. But I do it like this. The second one would go over top of that one, just like that. The third one would go here, and the fourth one would go right there. So now, the coins were covered by my hands, but just photographs of my hands. And the basic idea would be that I would make the coins one at a time travel from here over to the other positions, from here over to there. I should point out, in case you didn't notice, this coin is gone, and I'm not palming anything. Yeah, and this coin is gone, and this coin is gone. In fact, all three coins have completely disappeared. And where have they gone to? Well, they're right over here. Oh wait, this is just one coin. Where are the other ones? Oh, it went so fast, they're still in the photograph. Because at Konica, they capture the magic.